Hi, I'm Donald Osborne, CEO of Audrain LLC. I'm here in the Audrain Automobile Museum looking at another great pair of cars in our exhibition, The Past to the Present, Power and Speed with Style. It's 1971, and the world is absolutely awash in great performance cars. In fact, we can't remember a time since the beginning of the automobile at the turn of the 20th century that engineers just didn't keep continuing to put more and more power into cars. By the time we get to 1971, when this Plymouth Hemicuda was born, we are at the absolute pinnacle of the American muscle car. More specifically, the subspecies of the American muscle pony car. Now, of course, pony cars came from the Ford Mustang, introduced in 1964. And what Ford did was to take a plain economy sedan, the Falcon, and turn it into something a little sportier, a little more special. All the manufacturers followed suit. And in fact, a month after the introduction of the Mustang, Plymouth introduced the Barracuda based on the Plymouth Valiant economy car. Well, by the time we get to 1971 and the third generation of the Barracuda, it no longer shared anything with the economy cars and was instead based on the intermediate car platform. This is a car that absolutely conquered on the drag strip and in the legendary Trans Am road races as well. This was the absolute epitome of the formula of the muscle car. Take the biggest engine you can find, in this case, a 426 cubic inch Hemi V8 with 425 horsepower and put it into a very small body. These cars are designed to not only move fast in a straight line, but also to handle in the style of their day. This is a car capable of 140 miles per hour. Now, that would be a really scary thing, especially on these uh, polyglass uh, tires. But nonetheless, it was really exciting, and the people of the time, the enthusiasts of the time, could not get enough of them. This is a really interesting time as well, because it was just coming after the 1960s and the great graphics explosion of the hippie era, and these Mopar muscle cars also had wonderful graphics. This particular example, which is in a nice sedate black, but has this great hemi graphic on the side. It's, it's something like out of a Peter Max poster. And with the white interior, it's really quite striking. Although the black is really attractive, they also came in a lot of what were called high impact colors, with crazy names like Sassy Grass, Vitamin C, Lemon Twist, and Moulin Rouge. It was a lot of fun while it lasted, but the party would soon be over. Increasing emissions regulations, safety regulations, and insurance requirements spelt the end of the big engine, small bodied car. Or so we thought. Fast forward to 2018 and the Dodge Challenger Demon. This car, out of the showroom floor and on 100 octane fuel, makes 840 horsepower from a supercharged V8 engine. Who could have imagined in the late 1970s and early 80s that we'd ever get back to this? And this Demon, a high performance version of the already incredible Hellcat, is actually a drag car for the street. In fact, for a small optional fee, it actually comes with a drag crate to turn this road car into a fire-breathing, absolute mind-blowing drag car. There's even a button on the dashboard that you can push for launching this car. The idea that this car could be built for the street is something that the Chrysler engineers of the 1980s could only have imagined. And it shows today how that spirit, that DNA of Mopar performance, not only still lives, but thrives.